he had a problem. Prabhupada says that unless we are convinced that there is a problem in our material existence, we have been talking about this point last two Sundays. Unless I am convinced there is a problem, don't go to a spiritual master. Just like, unless you are convinced you are sick, don't go to a doctor. Why? Because even if doctor gives you free medicine, you will not take it. You should be convinced, I need, I have a problem. So Prabhupada says, don't go to spiritual master for the things which are available in market. Mostly people go to spiritual master for some money problem. And so many problems. Don't go to him for all this. You go to him for solving the ultimate problem. Today, you know, many times you go to the used to tell the Prabhupada. Prabhupada sees science has advanced so much. Prabhupada used to immediately tell what advancement they are made. Previously, also people are getting born with all whatever their population is still increasing. And then, anyway, the problem of birth refers to the pain the child undergo, undergoes in the womb, which they don't even know. Child is conscious, this is understood. But we are talking about an experiencer. We are not talking about a bag of chemicals in the stomach, the mother can. Correct? We are talking about an experiencer. And at a particular time, the child becomes conscious, it starts moving. Everybody knows that. Therefore, there are in the Vedic times, there were opportunities like Ashok, uh, Abhimanyu was taught in the womb, Prahlad Maharaj was taught in the womb, Shukadev Goswami is taught in the womb. In people who are devotees, when they have a child coming up, they start reciting Gita Bhagavatam when he is in the womb only because soul is there. Let him hear the vibration. And in a particular, the Prabhupada was in one country once. And he was giving a class in English. And they were, it was France. So many devotees that are sitting there, they know only French. So they were, some of them were getting up. So Prabhupada said, what's the problem? Prabhupada wrote in English. And there was someone, no translator or something. Prabhupada says, does not matter. I am talking to your soul. <laughs> okay. So try to understand in the spirit that now Shukadeva Goswami was actually given the whole Vedic knowledge. Veda Vyasa knew. Because Veda Vyasa is regarded like, nah, he knew my son is not going to stay at home. He knew that. Therefore, it is the duty of the father that the son should not take second birth in this world. Somehow, this fellow is coming, he failed the exam. Taking birth in this world means failed the exam of death. He is coming for supplementary now. This time he should pass. That is the first duty. Shastra says, don't become father, don't become mother. Don't become guru. Don't become all these things unless you can save a person from the cycle of birth and death, including king. So many things are there. So this is the greatest responsibility of children. We are all suffering in the middle of existence. Nobody is happy. And this poor fellow should have gone back. But somehow he has still hope that he will become happy in this world. Such a fool he is. Therefore he has come back. But now my duty is let him go back to the spiritual world. That is the greatest thing. So Veda as a responsible father, started instructing the child the womb only. And he heard even the synopsis of Bhagavatam of the womb. When he came out, the, he was self-realized, fully convinced, I am not body, I am spirit, soul. And we know he ran from the womb. He was born when he was 14 years old. This is exceptional. Chaudasana. And he had become so big, his mother was feeling inconvenience. So once father said, Beta, please come out. Your mother is feeling so much inconvenience. See, how much you are attached to the wife. This world is full of mind. <laughs> he was talking to father like that. Father became desperate. He went to Krishna in Dwaraka. Vedic has had the privilege. He can meet Krishna in the great saint. And he brought Krishna to his place. And I think this problem is Badrikashram. And he said, Krishna told him, why are you giving so much trouble to your mother? He said, what to do? The world is full of Maya. I don't know to come out in this world. So Krishna said, I give you guarantee. Maya will not touch you. So how extraordinary is this soul, Shrivade Goswami. He is blessed by the Lord. Self-realized in the womb itself. And when he was come, came out, he ran from the home. He did not stay for one second. 
was born as a fully grown up child, 14 year old child, and he started running. And his father naked, he was just born, and his father ran behind him. So when he was running, his father was chanting, Putra, Putra in Sanskrit. He was a Sanskrit scholar written all the and uh, only the trees were echoing the song as if they were sympathizing with Veda because they waited for the song for 14 years. Imagine this condition. <laughs> Sorry, is not ready to stay for one second. Putara, Putara, the trees were sympathizing with Veda Vyasa echoing. So this is the condition. Then Veda Vyasa said, My dear son, I want to tell you about something. One personality I want to tell about. Who? delivered the woman who came to give him poison. So, Shudeh Gosan, you are so... It's like today we are interested about all kind of news of this world. What is the way he is not interested in that? Apashyabam ashota vyadini rajendra venam santi sahasya shaha Shota vyadini rajendra Sunne ko hai, kya hai? Sahasya Shaha, Hajaro Ji Loko Ka Sunne Ka. People want to hear thousands of things. Apashyata. Why? Atma Tattva. Because they are not seeing what is their real interest. Therefore, they hear about million things. Shota Vyadini Rajendra, Niram Sandim Sahasya Shaha. Apashyata, Atma Tattva. Griheshu, Grihami Edina. This is a householder, typical, who is Grihami Edina. I have so many things to hear. The second canto, this starts, Shurudev Gosan. So he was not interested to hear about any mundane thing, but somebody delivered somebody, gave salvation to somebody who came to kill him with poison, a woman. I am interested to hear about this, because this talks about liberation, and it talks about a personality who so advanced did not take any offense, and that is Krishna. And Putana came to give poison to Krishna, Krishna neglected the fact that actually she has come to give poison. He, this fact it took, she has given milk now. She is the mother. And Krishna after, she had to be killed because she was unnecessarily killing so many children. Krishna has to do his part of the Lord, chastise her, stop her from the sinful activities. But then Krishna meditated on this fact. She acted like mother. And what did Krishna do? Gave her the position of mother in the spirit. Now, as great personalities in this world, it is said any great personality ignores millions of parts of an individual and accepts one good quality. Correct? Then you are called a great man. A low man, one small part of somebody will keep meditating, meditating, meditating. This world is like that. But a great man means he knows. The Prabhupada, that was the greatest quality of Prabhupada. As private secretary, Tamar Krishna Maharaj, who has done maximum service to Prabhupada as a secretary, was asked which quality of Prabhupada, you know, what thing about Prabhupada makes you so dedicated to him. He said that of this quality. Even if Prabhupada could see the smallest of the desire in anybody to serve Krishna, there may be millions of unwillingness to serve Krishna. But it's one small desire is to catch that and engage him. Then that is a Prabhupada. Somebody writing to Prabhupada, some his old friend, and Prabhupada is encouraging you. See now. You are at an advanced age. You can now fully dedicate yourself and serve Krishna. This opportunity is there. Encouraging anybody, everybody who came in contact with Prabhupada. So even to this extent, he wrote a letter to Gandhi, encouraging him to spread actual message of Gita. Some devotee disciples asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, why did you write to Gandhi at all? Prabhupada said, I could see I was a no man. And this man, whole world knew him. Worship by the whole world. What he could do, and if he had, proper letter was just few weeks later spent together and understand the real message of Gita. You always respect Gita. Gandhi gave many statements respecting Bhagavad Gita. So just for few weeks, let us just discuss the message of Gita. Proper said he could have done unimaginable work had he taken it up. Because already he was in a dress of a sadhu. He was wearing the dress of a sadhu. He could have done. But Prabhupada also writes in the letter, as a Trikalanda, Prabhupada says, if you do not take this up, very soon you will meet an inglorious death. And that's what happened. Within two weeks, he was shot dead. 
Prabhupada said, no, he writes later. He, nobody was listening to him after the independence. Actually, they all neglected him. And still, he will stick to politics. He cannot give it up. You know. And he had to meet unnecessary death. And Prabhupada given an opportunity. He did not take it up. <coughs> Actually, Acharya is always ready. If it is not ABCD, it is ERGH. Somebody would have. He gave mercy to. No Indian took it up. Americans, he gave mercy. Take up the moon. Correct? So Krishna's work will not stop. If it is not ABCD, it will be EFGN. Correct? Chetanamu's prediction is? Prichvite yathvacha navaradi gram sarota pracharga moranam. Bengali. Prichvite yathvacha. As many towns are there on the face of earth, my holy name will be chanted. The prediction. So it is for us. If you want, we will use. Otherwise, if it is not ABCD, it will be EFGH. Okay? So it is actually a beautiful situation if we come to here. Now there is another thing, we yesterday night we were meditating. Beautiful thing it is. What is that? You see, he had a problem, Parikshit Maharaj. His death was announced seven days. It's a very inauspicious thing. Suppose the doctor tells you, you're going to die within seven days. It's very inauspicious. The patient will cry. Even doctors hesitate to tell. And it's tough for them to tell. Sometimes doctors slowly become you know, hard, but it's tough to tell. Now you have only seven days remaining. The person crashes when he hears tears. Generally, I think a, a patient will cry when he comes to know. Sometimes, I don't think you have announced, but sometimes some doctors have to tell. You have a belly pain, tumor, something. It's tough to tell, I think. Very tough to tell. You are just one month remaining and the person breaks down. Huh? <laughs> but the relatives also find it. Sometimes they tell Hey, Parishan Maharaj came to know. He is going to die. You know, the father of the, uh, you know, that Shrini's father, Samika Rishi. And Shamika Rishi was not so, he informed him directly through a messenger. He did not inform his relatives. He directly told him. Be ready. Make arrangements. That is, he was also self advised says, in his own way. Prabhupada said both were greatly advanced. And then he came to know, he turned the inauspicious condition to an auspicious condition. That's a big thing. Just like they say, Grahana. When Grahana happens, it's considered very inauspicious. Nobody even comes out. We should not even see the sunshine like that. People close the doors and it's a holiday generally, those who know. And uh, you know, it's not auspicious influence, but the devotees what they do, yes, they lock the doors, that they honor, because it is some arrangement of the Lord only. But then they do keep them four hours, six hours, they turn the inauspicious condition to an auspicious condition. Just like they have this time, you know, many people say, think positive. We cannot be sentimental. No? I have a problem now. What is simply thinking positively? The problem will not be solved by that. Think positively. Terrorists just come. Think positively. No? This is real. There has to be a foundation for it. On what basis do I think positively? Yes. Parishit Maharaj, okay, not let me prepare for that. He made that announcement into auspicious. And today, he took it in a positive way. Oh, very nice. I came to know at least I have seven days. Because generally, we are not sure, we have even 5 minutes. Prabhupada says, it's not a guarantee you will live for 7 minutes. But you are living as if 7, more, seven million more years are there. Death is an exam. All of us, irrespective of the age, may have to face it any moment. Okay? Actually, it doesn't have to do anything with the body. The moment order is there, you have to get out. The moment order is there, you have to get out. This body is not my body. We are tenant here, just like in this house. I am a tenant. I am an occupier. The owner is Krishna. Just like when a landlord says, get out, I have to get out. And no notice is given. Here at least you have three months notice. Here, get out means immediate get out. Suppose the landlord comes to you, says, this second you get out of the house, very inconvenient or not? Generally, that's how it is. We are not given time. 
Why should Mara? So I am so fortunate. Instead of looking in a negative way, I am dying in seven days. You look in a positive way. I am so fortunate. If the landlord says, I need a seven more days to get out, how much more I am comfortable? I can look because I am on the road otherwise. All the things, all my back. I am much more comfortable. But actually, Krishna says, get out. But it doesn't throw on the road. Next body is ready. That's, we are not saying that landlords are better than Krishna. But, <laughs> but, but the principle is that only why the three months, I say we got three months it takes to search for a place, particularly for people like us who want a big hall, we don't get anywhere. People make houses mean, you know, how, anyway, now let us not. So he said, Krishna is so kind to me. He has given me seven days notice. Instead of thinking negatively, I have to die now. Anyway, I have to die. But Krishna is just like, if the landlord says, get out, it's unfortunate. But he says, I give you three months time. I say, you're so kind to me. Because people, if it is allowed to throw people out immediately, you're being so kind. You're giving me some time. So he is looking in a positive way. And now, not only look in a positive way, how do we use this opportunity which has somehow come in my hand? Seven days time, I know I'm going to leave the body. He left his kingdom, handed over to his son, Janmajaya, very competent son. He had trained very nicely. Went to the banks of the Ganges. He is making preparation, he knows. So they trained his son very well to rule. And he is not worried now. He will take good care of the kingdom. Went to the banks of the Ganges. Just like in Delhi. Actually that time, I got on Shansara, both Yamuna and Ganges is called Ganges. Uh, they put in Delhi, we have Jamuna Park. So it says Ganges, the proper reconciler it says, probably at that time, both are called Ganges. So he comes to the banks of the Ganges and he sits down. Decided, I am not going to take a drop of water now. So serious. And when he, it's a big event, when a great king like emperor, not a king, but emperor of the world, they put it as called this time, we have Great Britain. They were emperors of the world. India was called Mahabharata. So they have derived from their own, stolen from them. Mahabharat means Great India. Similarly, they also put their name Great Britain. See? Great. Now what is great? At least we are honest. Now we have come to Bharat. They should also come to Britain. What is the why they continue with the name Great Britain is not acceptable. So now he come to the banks of the Ganges. Big event. Emperor has of the world has left his throne. And he is not artificially honored. Today when the politicians retire, Nobody bothers about them because actually there is nothing to honor them. People honor them just because they have some power. But actually they, they are not honorable in any way. They are not respectable in any way. Just like today when some king, some politician come, we have to have some function. We have to do total flattery. Before the, that the chief guest will come to the seat, we used to ask some secretary something. And whatever you speak in total flattery is all joke. Nothing, one line, he doesn't deserve it. But here, when kings used to get glorified, actually it was fact. Fact. There is not one line of flattery. It's fact. And then, uh, all the sages came to know, they start assembling from throughout the universe. Parishit Maharaj is such a great emperor, he's famous in this universe, not only on earth, and this Brahma, Shri Raja, Shri Deva, Shri all are assembled there. Imagine the situation of unfortunate, it became fortunate. How fortunate it is when I am leaving the body, I am surrounding by sages of this caliber. Kapila Rishi is there. Whatever we know, heard in the Puranas, all are there. All the great saints are there. What is more fortunate than that? So he did not think positively. And now he is now going to say to Shukade Goswami, he is not proud. When Shukade Goswami comes here, he says, I am not even fit to be a Kshatriya. How fortunate I am. At my time of death, such a great saint has come. So a devotee in any condition sees mercy of Krishna. And actually it is true. Krishna is always blessing a devotee. Krishna does not give any discomfort to anyone. This so called discomfort can only detach us from this world. Therefore, it becomes blessing. Queen Kunti says, no, Vipadaha. What is the shloka? 
and because Maya makes a big fool of him when you want to live by your experience. Because what are your senses? Your senses are defective. You easily get into illusion. You have a tendency to make mistake and then you are a cheat number one. You cheat yourself. I'm not addicted. Even a chain smoker like that fellow actor who is not worthy of being named in this class. He said, I'm not addict. I can leave it tomorrow. From 20 years, whole India is watching is a chain smoker, smoke, 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 smoke. I can hear them not in stadiums and all smoking and find also. So embarrassing. So you see what hero is, the hero. Hero means control your senses first. He cannot control the senses. So addict cheats himself and he is not addicted. So that way all the four defects that I am having. How with all the defects a Badda Jiva leaves, has, how can he say I will live by my experience? Prabhupada says, you can never come to sanity if you depend on your mind. Your mind will cheat you. So a gentleman means he loses faith in his mind. That's a gentleman. And then what he has faith in? Shastra. Many times a devotee came to Prabhupada with so many questions. Prabhupada said, I can be wrong. But Shastra can never be wrong. Shastra is not given. Shastra is word of God. It can never be wrong. And we are fortunate that this scripture like Gita and Bhagavatam is certified as original because anything you want, you may say, how do I know this is original scripture? Okay, scripture was written by Vedas 5,000 years ago. How do I know this is original scripture? Yes, it is original. It is carefully protected and certified by line of Acharyas. Without any misinterpretation, it is given to us. So then, Shukadeh Goswami is now going to give him advice from the scripture not from his experience. Even Parishit Maharaj is not also not interested to hear anybody's experience. He wants to hear what scripture says from the greatest realized soul, Shukade Goswami. Shukade Goswami has experienced what scripture says. He has realized what scripture says, but not independent of the scripture. I want to live oh, in my opinion, you know, anybody will ask anything. In my opinion, we should be like Forget all that. We should go by what scripture says, what Acharya says, what great saints says. And once this impetus is there, then we work with full enthusiasm. Otherwise, a normal man, any activity he is doing, we discussed this point also previously, is always confused. Even he may do the biggest thing. Don't you think it should be done or not to be done? Actually, he is not convinced. But a devotee is very peaceful. Because the impetus for his activity comes from scripture or Acharya or the Sadhus. And he says, it ought to be done, he will proceed and do it. Shri Prabhupada Ki.